Let's see what is the damage of the wall after 9mm bullet and 5.56 bullet. Hello everybody and welcome at the last video about building the safe room. All steps since the last video were recorded let's say in a three weeks period so you will see uh, following uh, work uh, finishing this wall uh, by adding another reinforcing layer. As we mentioned at the last video we wanted to add 2x12 between each 2x4 and uh, as you see this part is done. The next step is to add another layer and we were thinking about pouring concrete uh, for basically this gap which is let's say 2 inches deep and 7 feet uh, long and 14 inches wide and uh, we come to conclusion that uh, that's not good idea because uh, it's a lot of work and it's messy therefore today we brought these 12 by 12 by inch three quarters concrete pavement blocks and uh, they were about dollar fifty piece we have uh, 36 of them and they will do exactly what we need uh, regarding reinforcing the wall because uh, as you see they will be added on top of each other and uh, the gap will be filled with another piece of wood. So this is the plan how to add the another protective layer on this wall and uh, after that we will just add the mesh and uh, basically one quarter of an inch uh, plywood plus paneling and this wall will be done. So stay with us. Before installing concrete blocks I need to add another layer of the mesh in each section. And here we go, the next very important step installing of the concrete blocks. I will use uh, a glue, wood bonds with uh, cement, wood and other surfaces uh, to apply it on four sides and also on the back. So this is the glue applied on five points. To achieve maximum bondage between the concrete block and the wall we installed pieces of wood to press against each block separately. We finished installing of the concrete blocks or, or tiles if you want and now we will continue with adding the last uh, layers mesh, drywall, plywood and paneling. After finishing the mesh we decided instead of drywall we will install quarter inch thick plywood. To bond with the mesh and the cement tiles we will use liquid nails which we used before for the tiles application and also we will fill out all remaining cracks between 2x4s or on top with the insulating foam sealant which acts as glue as well on certain level. And this is the quick look of the prepared wall with the insulation in cracks and the glue on the back of the plywood. So the first layer of the quarter thick plywood 
is applied and we decided uh, to skip uh, drywall and install the mesh layer instead. The last finishing layer paneling is ready to be applied. We will certainly apply glue on the inside and uh, nails and some screws from the outside. So as you see we finally finished this wall with paneling, some trims and the room is ready. We also installed nice threshold so the door will be completely sealed from top to bottom. We built two small replicas of the wall and we want to test it uh, against 9mm and 5.56 ammo. So here is the small replica of the wall with uh, layers from the outside. Paneling two pieces of 1 8 of an inch thickness plywood, one inch of drywall, inch and a half of 2 by 12, inch three quarters thickness concrete tile, one quarter of an inch plywood and paneling. So now we are ready to test the wall against 9mm bullet. One, two, three. We will use the same piece because uh, nothing happened with it. So now we will test 5.56 five, ammo. One, two, three. I just want to mention we did not put mesh in this a replica because nothing left from the construction. So first layer paneling. Second layer two plywoods eighth of an inch thick drywall one inch thick and now the one and a half inch thick 2 by 12 and we can see the 9 millimeter bullet was stopped by the tile Now let's find the 5.56 five, bullet. The tile is in pieces, basically split. Oh, here we are. 5.56. Five, five, Any damage on the last plywood, don't see any. This last plywood is completely fine. A little dent, but that's fine. And the paneling is as new. Okay, so you just saw how our wall can handle these two rounds, 9mm and 5.56 and uh, that's pretty much all what we can show at this point about uh, our wall and door and basically the entire project of safe room. 
And now we will continue with adding some additional stuff such as uh, deadbolt here and here and uh, also adding ventilation probably in this wall which will be 12 volts fan and it will lead to chimney in case we need to draw air from this room or bring fresh air inside. Also there are other ideas such as the automatic pepper spray device. We also might install camera or cameras for uh, somehow watching the outside of the door. Certainly there are uh, so many other possibilities or ideas which uh, can be added uh, to, to this room. So we will continue with it uh, over the time. But the most important stuff is done. Secured wall and secure door. Now we can finally continue with uh, our other projects. Uh, we are in progress of uh, somehow upgrading poncho liner. So we should have it done in let's say two weeks and we will definitely show you what we done and what kind of ideas we applied. We hope uh, the series about safe room uh, gave you at least some ideas or some new thoughts and uh, if there is anything you would like to share with us or additional upgrades to what we did please leave comments below. As always we really appreciate your views and everything you do for us and until the next video, take care guys.